If you'd like to see how I created this lovely canvas wall art with glitter, paint, and crushed glass, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so I'm gonna be making another canvas art. I really like this metallic gold color by Folk Art. I got this from Walmart, no more than about $4 for this big bottle. And then I have this glitter from Paper Mart. It's like a holographic dark blue. It's, it's a fine glitter. I'm just gonna use these two. I usually do like a two-tone situation, but I wanna try something different. This is a 16 by 20, and I'm going to just do the whole thing in gold. I'm just regular gonna gold brush, brush here that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So, okay, so first thing that I'm doing here, I'm just gonna squirt on a generous amount of paint onto my canvas, just so I can make sure everything is covered. Okay, so now what I'm doing here is just taking a nice even brush strokes back and forth across the canvas. Now I'll be doing this for probably um, a couple minutes. So at, at some point, I'm gonna just go ahead and speed this up. But you understand that you'll just have to make sure the paint covers the whole canvas so that you don't have any white showing. Okay, so while you're covering up your canvas with your paint, remember to go ahead and paint the edges as well. You want to make sure that there's paint covering the whole top side of the canvas as well as the edge on all four corners. Now I am going to add my Podge to this canvas. It has dried. It has been at least about 20 or 30 minutes. Now I'm taking my brush and adding a decent amount of Mod Podge, just stroking the brush from left to right because I do want to make sure that there's plenty of glitter on here. So my brush strokes are very wide and I'm just making them thin out towards the ends just to create somewhat of an abstract pattern here. And here is the glitter that I showed you earlier. I'm going to add on a hefty amount because I do want this to cover all of the Mod Podge that I've added to the canvas. So I'm just gonna put this on here, make sure all the glue is covered, and then we'll take it from there. Today I let this glitter sit on all night long. I'm excited to see how it looks. I just tried to get some paper here so I can just kind of catch the glitter to put the rest back in. Um, I'm probably gonna get some spillage. I'm just gonna try to maybe 
get it off the let me just go ahead and just pour this the best way I can so I can capture all my glitter don't want to do any waste in here let's see here I'm gonna turn it towards the camera okay here we go Gonna carefully brush this off. Okay, so I'm just taking a clean, dry brush and knocking off all the excess glitter so it doesn't create a trail or be messy. Okay, so this is the gold with the blue. And I think this looks nice as it is. I feel like it needs something. I feel like adding something else to this. Then if you want to do it that way, that's how it looks that way. And I did this with the Mod Podge. I think this is nice, but I, I think I want to go in here with something. I can leave it as is, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go in here with some gold. Right in this middle area with some gold. That's what I think I'm going to do. So let me go ahead and clean this glitter up and figure out what it is I want to do to this. So I have my little DIY baggie of crushed glass that I made from Alfredo jars. And I'm just going to add some to this bowl because I really didn't like how plain and just flat it was with just the glitter and the one color of paint. Now I just had an idea just to add some paint into the bowl of the crushed glass because I wanted it to look gold. I was going for a certain look. I've never tried this before. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. So I just decided let me just go ahead and stir up some of this glass with the paint. I just want it to have a certain look. Here is the liquid glass by TriArt. Here is my glitter. I love this glitter, it's so chunky and very, very sparkly. I'm adding that to my glass as well so it can have some sparkle to it. I just needed some dimension. This painting was so flat, I just, I just wasn't digging it. And for whatever reason, I didn't record myself pouring the liquid glass on. And I have a hefty amount of that on the center of my canvas so I'm just kind of dropping the glass onto the canvas it's really heavy it's really wet I wasn't really sure what to make of this but I'm very very glad that I did do it and if you're not too familiar with the liquid glass it's called a medium pouring it's like a better alternative than using resin it's a one-step thing you don't have to mix with anything there's no harsh smell mm -hmm. And I'm just taking my glove and just patting down this glass so it can really get down in that in that liquid glass. So that way it'll hold much better. So instead of mixing up more of the glass with the paint, I just went ahead and got some more of my crushed glass and added it to the canvas. And then after this part, I'm going to just add on plenty of glitter.
this glitter um is some glitter from michael's but i, I bought an empty glitter shaker and mixed up two different types of glitters oh my gosh they're so pretty i just love gold glitter i love glitter period this is actually my favorite part adding on the glitters and the crushed glass is the best part of making these canvases it just really really makes it pop and just looks so amazing so you can dump on as much glitter as you want the sparkler you want it you put more glitter if you don't want it that sparkly or that that busy or that dramatic then you'll just add less it's all about how you feel it's your preference because I was working on a lot of different other crafts in between, so it's cool. But yeah, so I imagine a lot of this is gonna fall off, but I just felt like just the blue only and it was flat. I wanted some dimension, bless you. I wanted some dimension, I wanted some texture, or whatever you wanna call it. I feel like these look like gold nuggets in here. It's really thick and clumpy looking, but let's just see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and it's already glitter in here from my previous project, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tilt this carefully and brush, 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 see what we're left with, and then we'll take it from there. Here's my trusty big brush here. So you want to just keep brushing and brushing until nothing is falling off. I don't seal my canvas I don't maybe some other people do um, it's fine for me as long okay, as I just keep brushing until than I nothing is coming off well, so, so that's far. what I'm doing here so I'm glad a lot of this thick stuff here is still holding on strong Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of my DIY canvas wall art. And it's a 16 by 20, if I didn't say that before. And I absolutely love this. It's like every time I do one, it just gets better and better and better. The thing about these canvas wall arts, it's like you're putting your personality into your own decor, into your own home. You know what looks good in your home. You know what fits your personality. I know I like a lot of bling and glitter and sparkle, and I feel like my personality is right here on this canvas. This is so beautiful, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So consider making something like this for your home. You can put this in your bathroom. You can put this in your bedroom, your living room, your dining room, anywhere your heart desires. Or if you know someone who just purchased a new home or they're moving, this would be so great as a housewarming gift, a wedding gift, a bridal shower gift, a birthday gift. This will be great to decor or to decorate the decor in your office, your business. If you own like a, a hair or nail salon or a barber shop, this would be so great. It's just such a, a touch of class. There are just so many reasons why you should make one of these canvases. You can purchase um, a pack of three or five of the 16 by 20 canvases from Michaels. The paint is very affordable. You can buy the little small tubes of paint from Walmart. Um, they'll run you between 55 cents to a dollar depending upon what paint you get. I purchased my brushes from Dollar Tree. So you can pretty much just run wild with your creativity with these, like as far as making them for yourself or gifts for others. So I'm just really impressed with how beautiful this came out. Um, thank you all for watching this video. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you really did enjoy it or you received some type of inspiration from it or any great ideas. And subscribe to this channel if you'd like to. 
If not, thanks so much for stopping by. Now, be sure to check out my playlist. I will be creating a, a playlist just for my canvas art paintings. And I also have other playlists embell embellishing wine glasses and um, shoes um, and many, many more. So thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.